question one tutorial sheet two it's a simple projectile motion for projectile motion as we discuss in le lectures we usually prefer to use fixed Cartesian coordinate system I put my coordinate system origin here at the initial po position of the ball you can put anywhere else the result should be the same then similar to any other projectile for initial velocity I have two vectors components one is the X component initial components its magnitude is equal to V naught cosine theta and theta is given is 50 degree and vertical components the vertical components initial velocity this is the vector but here we usually work with just the magnitude which is v naught sine theta this is what we had in the lectures as well usually we prefer to divide the projectile motion in movements to two movements in x and y direction. First I look at movements in x direction. In fact your projectile motion is a 2D, two-dimensional problem. You divide it to movement in x direction which is a 1D problem and also movement in y direction which is another one dimension. You divide a two-dimensional problem to two one. The reason we can do it because the motion in x direction and motion in y direction they are completely independent then we can consider them completely separate as two separate movements okay in x direction we don't have any air resistance then we don't have any force then acceleration in x direction is zero then we have a constant acceleration x the final position for the this is the horizontal component of final position of the ball with respect to the origin of the coordinate system x is equal to the initial position the horizontal component of initial position initial velocity multiplied by the total time acceleration in x direction t square because here we don't have any acceleration in x direction no air resistance no drag force and we know the final position this is the final position of the ball its horizontal distance from origin of the coordinate system is plus 4 and initial position is 0 because initially the ball placed at the origin of the coordinate system this is v naught cosine 50 degree yes this is what we had here and theta is given 50 degree and this is just a linear equation I can find the t as a function of initial velocity the total speed initial speed the tf is equal to t 620 over v0 
Okay. And the question asks to find the value of initial velocity. We need to find this value. Now we look at the second part, which is movement in y direction. Initial position is zero. Initial velocity is v naught sine 50 degree. And okay, here we have gravity is downward, and we assume the upward be positive. Then the sign of the acceleration in y direction is minus because it's in opposite direction of the chosen sign convention for positive vertical components. A y is minus g minus 9.81 again this is a constant acceleration because this is the only acceleration we have and it's a constant value and I can write the final equals initial plus v multiply by time plus 1 ay T squared. Okay, this is zero, but what's the y component or vertical components of the final position of the ball? Okay, this is the final position of the ball. I use another color. Alright, just use Okay. You see here is the origin of the coordinate system, positive direction for X, positive direction for Y. This is the final position of the ball and this is it's y components it's 3 meter minus 2.1 which is plus 0.9 meter and it's positive because it's placed on the positive side of the y-axis then this is 0.9 this is v not sine 50 Yes, we just replace from here. Ay we replace from here is minus 9.81. And the t we replace from here. We replace t here. And also replace t here from the previous step. Then if I want just to simplify and rewrite what we have is 0 0.9 equals to 0 plus v naught sine 50 degree. We replace the t from the relationship we derived in the previous step. from this relationship for t and minus 9.81 over t the t to the power of t if you solve this one you will have this value and we know it should be positive because we just look at the magnitude of the velocity And the question asks for a speed. The speed is always the magnitude.
of the vector and it's positive. And this is the answer of first question.